gravity's effect on water it creates this very rich um, visual experience. And if you take moving water on its own and break it into light and color, I think that definitely relates, relates to painting. I continue to be a guide because I can take somebody in who has never been hiking and see them enjoy it like I do, knowing that they've never been to any place like that before. Kayaking is one of the few activities where you get to move around on this moving medium. On the river, we're always moving and the surface that we're on is always moving. America's wild rivers illustrate our brave history, today's successes and challenges, and a hopeful future. Visionary Americans protected some of our best free-flowing rivers under a powerful but little-known law called the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. In spite of the law's promise since its passage in 1968, fewer than a quarter of 1% of the rivers in our nation have been granted permanent protection under the act. Usually when I'm hiking or on the river and with people guiding them, I want them to get the experience of what I feel when I'm there. When people come here and they say they've always wanted to come to Montana, they wanted to see the mountains and the rivers, I, I can't imagine what it would be like if we didn't have the Wild and Scenic River Act on the Flathead. A lot would be lost. We're really lucky in southwest Montana to have a river like the Gallatin. It's in our backyard here in Bozeman, and it's beautiful, it's clean, it's cold, it's a wild river. We serve kids in the area with kayak programs, and generally just try to get folks out on the river and enjoying it. a big tourism industry here and kayaking is part of that but there's all these other supporting industries that would be affected by the changing of the free-flowing nature of the Gallatin. I got bit by the trout bug very early. That was real impactful as far as the love for for the river, for streams, for moving water. The river's always been kind of my reset button. You know, it's that beautiful part of nature that allows you to shut the mind off, kind of leave your worries. In that way, I feel like it recharges me for, for focus in the studio. There's a lot of different interests uh, that are involved in these, these environments. But the important thing for me is to realize that right now we have a really special place right in our backyard. And it's something that draws people to this area. And because of that, a wild and scenic designation would provide the insurance policy to maintain that quality of life for generations to come. There's always going to be change, but I think, you know, that conscious effort to preserve um, those wild places is, is very valuable. Alongside all the progress and population growth, you need that voice of the importance of that wild side of nature. The thought that um, my daughter's experience of the river may not be mine and that, you know, it may be a memory or a story that I have to tell her. Yeah, that's really, that's really heartbreaking. The ability to protect those resources 
one manner or another um, is really important. It's time to protect more of our most cherished rivers nationwide. Montana has more than 170,000 miles of streams, but only 368 miles have been protected forever as clean and free flowing. Voice your support today for wild and scenic protections for Montana's last best rivers. Those beautiful rivers really are Montana's identity. It's what brings things to life, both literally and uh, more indirectly. And to lose those mountain streams and rivers, you're changing the face of Montana. Now that I have grandchildren, it's really important for me to know that they will have the opportunity that we have had and enjoy the rivers for as long as they live. There are so many future generations that could really benefit from more rivers being protected. What is so special to me is to be able to see the confidence that gets developed in these young people as they overcome these seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The importance of, of protecting these rivers extends much beyond kayaking. It's also fishing, it's people who enjoy walking along the river and seeing the beautiful protected nature that we have that, that isn't altered. I mean, I think having nature as it is, really, you can step back and, and be like, wow, I am so fortunate. If we didn't have the rivers protected, we wouldn't be able to do that. Thank you.